trying to be great And I'm on my way Way up, way up, way up It's never too late And I'm on my way I'ma leave my mark Ready, set, go Ready, set, go Ready, set, go. With so much negativity being yielded at the youth of our nation It seems hard to find any signs of a bright future Coming from a legendary past, the new generation of Bahamians seek to take this nation to heights it's never seen. That's where the youth perspective comes in. We seek to display tomorrow's leaders in every facet of society. Each show will focus on today's pace setters, trendsetters, movers and shakers, and the next generation of great, impactful Bahamians. We seek to uplift, motivate, and encourage our listeners. Tune in as we address issues of importance with wisdom and intelligence, all from the youth perspective.
And we're back. Welcome to another edition of The Youth Perspective. You're truly cashing in Jay Adderley, all right? And, of course, it's season four with a whole new slate of shows and, of course, a whole new slate of artists, all right? Don't forget, you can catch us on this very station every Saturday. Uh, and, of course, uh, you can uh, check out SoundCloud as well as iTunes uh, where you can hear the, the replay of the shows, all right? So we upload them every week so you can hear what you missed if you missed the show live, all right? And, of course, uh, we have another dynamic dynamic individual who's here and uh, we're focusing on, on entrepreneurs and uh, young business people doing extraordinary things so I thought it was only right uh, to bring on and uh, share and a good friend I've known him for many years and uh, we've done uh, ministry together and it's always been fun and uh, so great to see a blossoming uh, in this area uh, of the vineyard so uh, so great to have you welcome to the youth perspective Chantel Fowler she's here how you doing all right, it's so great. Yeah, so great to have you. And I'm praying that this won't be the last time that you'll come back and you, you'll share with us once again. I will. Yes, I will. yes. But of course, um, you have this wonderful business. And uh, how did I find it about this? I think I saw it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, you were promoting it. And I think my wife was like, you see this? We need to go. We need to purchase this. <laughs> we need to get it. Uh, so it's, it's Mammy's uh, Banana Bread and Muffins. Correct. Yeah, that I, I pronounced it right? Yes. Yes. It did. Okay. So tell us, tell us, how did uh, this uh, business come about? Well, anyway, before we get to that, so, Ms. Fowler, tell us about Mammy's Banana Bread and Muffins. Where uh, did you initially come up with the idea for the business? Okay. What happened was, um, I would say for years I've been baking banana bread. Okay. And my friends and family, they always loved it and they said, you know, you should sell this. I'm like, I don't want to sell no banana bread. Mm. And um, what happened was um, my back was against the wall, and mm. I had to find some other source of income. And how I got started was my son was sick, and he was vomiting a lot, and basically nothing stayed down. The one thing that stayed down was banana bread. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm. It did. So I basically mastered the recipe by doing that because I played with it or what's not. And one day I say, you know what? And let me put a post up saying that um, I'm not a baker, but mm. I ba I make um I sorry I bake up me and banana bread. Mm -hmm. And ever since like persons was questioning, um, sorry, requesting it, asking mm -hmm. about it, and so I decided to sell it. Mm -hmm. And it's and that was in August of 2017. Wow. And up to this day, I have artists just about every day. Mm. Yeah, it's, mm. it's now a business. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's uh, banana bread and muffins. You added mm -hmm. the muffins after a while? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, because there were persons, because I sell it in a personal pan, mm -hmm. and there were persons that just wanted, like, maybe just a small portion. Yeah. So I decided to sell it as um, loaves and mm -hmm. muffins. Mm -hmm. So did you grow up, like, eating banana bread? Like, what's the... That's, affinity with a banana bread. <laughs> that's the thing. No, I mm. did not. Uh, my Grammy, which is mommy. Yeah. <laughs> that's why okay, I it that's the mommy. mommy. Okay, all right. Yes, that's mm -hmm. mommy. Um, she she was good at baking homemade bread, mm. and I loved homemade bread with um, hot chocolate. Yes. But oh my God. yes, oh, I could use some for my. <laughs> I need to go to Abaco right now because it's just different in Abaco. But anyway, well, go ahead. Mm, mm, okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, you said so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so she, but she never baked banana bread. I don't mm -hmm. recall eating banana bread from her, but I loved it. Okay. I loved it. Mm -hmm. And um, I made it one day and I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. And like I said, I let other persons try it mm -hmm. and they liked it. Mm -hmm. So um, ever since, mm -hmm. I've been baking it for, like, for years. For years. But like wow. I said, when my son was sick, that was mm -hmm. the one thing that stayed down. Mm -hmm. And he was on a special diet, so I had to, oh, I had to do, like, an all-natural one without sugar and okay. um, the white flour. Mm -hmm. So I actually offer the all-natural as well, mm -hmm. whereas um, I use honey instead of sugar. Okay. And I use 100% wheat flour instead of white. Mm. Right. And other ingredients that I cannot put out there. Right. You, no, <laughs> right. you can't. Secret, secret recipe. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I offer the all-natural as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's powerful because a uh, person normally would just have a straight... Uh, you know, straight one with sugar and, you know, all those right. things. But I, I think persons are becoming more health conscious now. Exactly. Uh, so they want 
uh, not all those other ingredients. Right, correct. Mm, right. Oh, and I also offer um, mm. toppings, different toppings, and that's what persons like about it. I have okay. like the cream cheese swirl in the banana bread. Okay. I have the raisin, mm-hmm. walnut, blueberry, cranberry, mm. coconut, chocolate chips. Wow. Yes, and I have a new flavor now mm-hmm. that's pina colada. Mm. Yes, it's the cream cheese swirl with the pineapple and coconut. Okay, because yeah. I was just going to ask, like, if you have like a pineapple banana bread. Yes, I have pineapple. You Sorry, have pineapple. I left it out. Okay. Yeah. Because you know you got to have pineapple. It's mm. my favorite. Really? Yeah, pineapple wow. is my favorite. I love pineapple on anything. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Especially on my pizza. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I may be, you know, one mm. of the few. But, uh, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we got to come together because yes. I think I could give you some ideas of what you could yes. collaborate with. Mm-hmm. Um, so so how, how has it been? How has um, the, the, the nation, I guess, received you and stuff like that? Um, persons um, calling you and stuff like that. How has that been? It's been good. Mm. Um, like I said, mm. I think what it is, because I have a wide variety to choose from, yeah. that's what persons like. Okay. So they'll be like, let me try the cream mm. cheese today or let me try the coconut. Right. Let me try the um, pineapple. Mm-hmm. So that's what they like about it, the different options. Mm-hmm. And um, when I initially started, it was just me. Um, mm-hmm. I was baking and I was delivering and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm a person I like to be a blessing to others. And if I start a business, um, I don't want to be something where as, well, only me work. Mm-hmm. If I could hire someone, that would be good. So now mm-hmm. I have somebody mm-hmm. who goes out and she sells for me. Okay, nice. So, yes. Mm-hmm. So I want to eventually expand and have more persons. Oh, that's good. But I'm just happy that I'm actually able to bless somebody. Yeah. So, um, mm-hmm. That's that actually is a blessing for me. Yeah, that I'm uh, able to bless somebody. And I think it's a classic case of when you take what you love and what you enjoy doing, and you actually be able to make it in the business. Right. Like that is a perfect combination. Right. Yeah. 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 So now tell me, um, you know, as you continue to move and as you continue to um to play around with the recipes and and add different things, um, what's what's the road looking for you like in the future? Like, what are you um looking to do with the business? Okay, eventually um, I will take banana bread and muffins off Mm -hmm. and generalize it because I heard Expansion the other day Mm -hmm. and he Mm downloaded a cheesecake recipe Mm -hmm. (laughs) in my spirit. Mm -hmm. I played with it. I... I'm already selling a few out there, okay. and it's going crazy. Oh, it's wow. going crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. it's going to be mommy's, but mm. I have to drop the banana bread and muffins oh, okay. now wow. and generalize it yeah. because I will be expanding. Um, and I won't put anything out there until I perfect it. Mm-hmm. So I'm playing with a few recipes because persons are asking for guava duff and different stuff, mm-hmm. but I like to do my stuff different Amazon, so yeah, yeah right mm-hmm. I'll, I'll have to play with some recipes before i put it out there because mm-hmm. i want to make sure that when it's out there it's it's right right yeah. and that's what sets you apart is the creativity mm-hmm. and of course it's the way you do it because uh you can have other people's banana bread but it's not going to be like mommy's exactly right uh-huh. <laughs> <You get it. laughs> and it's called it's going to have your unique twists and your unique feel to it as well right. and then it's going to be delivered with a smile as well because exactly. you do delivery <laughs> yes Cause, yeah. and i dance yeah because you dance and a smile a dance? <laughs> yeah. Not like a literal dance, or you mean like a dance in your mind? No, a little a dance. Okay. I will give you a dance and uh-huh. smile. Okay. Wow. Well, that's a delivery with a dance and a smile. Right. I love it. I get it. I love it. So now, I, I, I love to ask this question. I get to ask it to everybody who comes on the show. Uh, we have young people listening in, and uh, they may want to start a business too. You know, uh, maybe uh, they're sitting in culinary class. They got a, you know, BGC and BGCSE coming up and they, mm-hmm. they're thinking along those lines. Uh, what advice uh, could you give to the young budding entrepreneur uh, who has something they love and they want to get into it? Is there any advice you could give to them? I would say um, continue to pursue. Pursue with um, passion. Do not give up because do not give up. Um... No matter how things look, it's, it's nothing like doing something that you love and making money from it. And if you're doing something that no one believes in, um, I would say don't stop. Mm. Once you believe in it, that's what matters. And once you love it, because mm. you, um, at the end of the day, it's you who's doing it. So just pursue with a passion. Yeah, yeah. Pursue with a passion. Don't give up. Um, no matter how it looks. You will have your ups and downs. You will have your ups and downs. But keep on pushing and be creative. Be true to you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Persons will um, 
come to you with different opinions and different ideas. Take it in, but you have to be true to you. Yeah. You have to know who you are and mm-hmm. what you're looking for and what you want to put out there. So stay stay true to you. All right. And then that also goes with, you know, when you have your vision, mm-hmm. being able to really follow your vision through. Like you may tweak it right. here and there, but being true to what it is that you saw initially exactly. when you saw it. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, persons want to get in contact with you um how do they do that is you know social media cell phone whatsapp how do they do it you can contact me on 433-8616 they don't have a pen so do it again 433-8616 right and you can also find us on facebook mommy's banana bread and muffins okay on facebook all right yeah. awesome and uh we can whatsapp our orders because you know these days yes. everybody loves the whatsapp yes. <laughs> most of our orders come through whatsapp okay Right, right, right. And we'll 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 send out the contact information again, just in case you're in the room trying to find the notepad where you write all the numbers, or you didn't get to put it in your phone. <clears throat> but as we continue to move um, later this year, we're going to get into Youth Month. Uh, but here on the Youth Perspective, we love to celebrate youth all the time. Uh, the narrative uh, in the nation is that you know youth aren't doing anything. There's a negative viewpoint sometimes, but we here love to uplift those who are doing positive things and you are doing a positive thing by uh, being an entrepreneur, which is something that's not uh, spoken of much. Uh, you know, much per- persons want you to go a different direction. So, I mean, what, what encourages you? What keeps you moving as you can continue your entrepreneurial journey? Um, what keeps me moving is the fact that, like I said, I like to be a blessing to people. Mm-hmm. And, it might just be one person that is on staff, I should say, right, right, <laughs> now. Right. Um, that is is helping me to continue to, to push forward mm-hmm. uh, with mommies. There are times when I feel low and want to give up, but I'm like, you know what? This is I'm actually blessing at home right now. Right. And right. I've always wanted to be a blessing to persons, um, to people. So I will continue to push because I eventually want a factory. Mm. And, oh, also I'm pushing for the single moms that mm. have sick children, right. like I did. Wow. Um, I wanted I want an environment where they can come and work. Mm-hmm. And if they and have a section for the kids mm-hmm. and have a caretaker because there are times... See, my issue was with him being sick. I have to be home 24-7 monitoring mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. And it was hard to find a job, whereas you can take your child with you. Yeah. You understand? So um, I eventually want to, that's what's driving me, to mm-hmm. have a factory. To Basically, I want to hire um, single moms that have sick children wow. and have a section just where their, their child would be taken care of or children. Um, and they'll feel comfortable working because they, their children are close to them or mm-hmm. their child. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what's driving me. Wow, that's yeah, powerful. the ministry part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't think about that, um, how difficult it may be sometimes where uh, single mothers, uh, they have kids, uh, but they want to follow their dreams and they want to go after it. And you are encouraging them to do so. Right. You know, that right. sky is, well, sky is not the limit. It's just <laughs> the beginning. Yes. Yeah, it's just the beginning. Uh, so now... Um, as we get ready to wrap up, uh, and as always, I always don't like this part of the show, you know, because we have to bring the conversation to, to a close and we have to wrap things up. Um, but uh, we have the family islands are listening in. All the family islands are listening in. Um, how could they get this in, you know, in Andres and Nabucco and Freeport and Exuma <laughs> and Lutra? Well, actually, I have persons on the islands who would WhatsApp their order. Okay. And they just tell me what boat to put it on. Okay. And, yeah. So it's it's um, possible to ship it to the islands. Mm-hmm. Um, they just send me their uh, their order and they just let me know which boat they want me to put it on and we go from there. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So 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 when I'm traveling to you know around the islands, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm you know island hopping. Right. You I could take some mommies with me. I was about to tell you that. Yes, yeah. I have persons who who leave from Nassau mm-hmm. and they make sure I get their order from me before yeah. they go and yeah. they take it with them. Because you need that yes. for the plane ride. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you need that. Or if you, especially if you're on the boat. Right. Yeah, you need that. And I had a friend who actually mm-hmm. she went to school in Cuba and before she left, she stocked up on mommies wow. to take with her. Yes. Wow, the Cuba. Yes. That's what's up. Y'all global. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I, I'm loving it. I'm loving. It. I'm love the sound of it. And uh, when you uh, do the reshape. 
paying when you do the restructuring and the rebranding and all that stuff. Come back and tell us about it and tell us about all the stuff that happened in yes. the factory and everything. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So now before we wrap things up, we let you go. Uh, is there any closing comments that you want to leave with the listening audience? Anything you want to share? Um, Like I said earlier, for those who are listening and you want to start a business, mm-hmm. I would say go ahead. Um, there will be naysayers. There will be naysayers, but you have to block them out. Mm-hmm. So block out the naysayers and open up your your heart and mind and ears to the the positive for those who are for you. Because at the end of the day, there will be more for you than that's against you. Wise words. Now, before we let you go, once again, get your pens, get your pencils mm-hmm. ready, get your notepads. Give us the contact information for mommies once again. <laughs> The contact information is 433-8616, or you can find us on Facebook, Mommy's Banana Bread and Muffins. All right. Well, thank you so much. Chantel Fowler is here. Mommy's Banana Bread and Muffins. This is the Youth Perspective Season 4, and we're not slowing down, all right? We are going to find you young people out there that are doing encouraging, wonderful, impactful things. You continue to make an impression. You continue to make an impact in our nation. And, of course, you are going to benefit not just us, but, of course, the generations to come. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great evening, everybody. This has been another edition of The Youth Perspective. shame and gave me life Your love like a fire has taken hold Some claim by the cross forevermore I was yours the moment you called me
great and I'm on my way way up way up way up it's never too late and I'm on my way I'ma leave my mark ready set go ready set go ready set I hope you enjoyed another edition of the youth perspective Stay tuned for more interviews, more in-depth conversation, great music as we seek to encourage, empower, impact, and uplift our youth of this nation. Here on The Youth Perspective, we'll see you next time right here on The Youth Perspective with Capturing Jamal.